I go into a pitch meeting. I walk in. First thing I do is walk over, look at the view out of the window. And then I take, then they like, what kind of you want? What do you want to drink? And I just go like, uh, I want a, uh, cherry Coke. <laughs> Keep them on their toes. You know what I say? I say, I want to share a malted Mm -hmm. two straws, please. And then I say, I am a little hungry also. I would like the Buzz Lightyear, please. From I love ordering off the children's menu. I order off the children's menu. I would like the Buzz Lightyear. Every time. But then you make it clear. It's not about the portions. Make it a grown-up portion. Yeah. I want the children's. I want the Buzz Lightyear, but full-sized. Can I have a grown Spare up no portion? Expense. Can I have a grown up portion of the Buzz Lightyear? Yeah, I would like. Uh, is there any way you can do an oversized grilled cheese sandwich? I like um, when children's menus don't have any like copyrighted characters, so they're mm-hmm. like the 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 clown. Yeah, clown, <laughs> tiger, <laughs> the good time. Yeah. And then I go and they, I order the, they order the food and uh, then I, uh, then I sit down behind the desk. I go behind the desk (laughs) with whoever it is. You start opening the drawers. And then I go, I'm the captain now. (laughs) I said, Captain Phillips, biggest grossing movie in history. And then you go, are you listening? Are you listening? Captain Phillips 2. That's what I'm pitching to you. It's called Captain today. Phillips 2. Oh no. Yeah, back on back on the boat. Captain Phillips 2. Oh no, back on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to get Hanks this time. We're going to get we're uh, no Hank. No Hanks. Hayes. We get Chet Hayes on this one. Get Tom Hanks's <laughs> black sheep son. At this, at this point, you're opening the drawers and just actively go, wow, taking what's what's this, whatever what in them pills? and s- stuffing them in your pockets as you're. You got a disease or something? Like I find like a <laughs> bottle of pills. I was like, oh, you got a disease or something? You put them all down your throat. You go, what ah. are these? I go, 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 go. I was like, I hope those weren't cyanide capsules, huh? <laughs> I like to I like to take a bunch of people's pills and then act like Bugs Bunny, where I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite thing to do. Uh huh. And by the way, people hate it. Yeah. Then I take one of their art books. Because they always have an art book in the thing. I just tear a page out and go, (laughs) it's a a little souvenir. I will tear a page out of it. And then I'll say, you like origami? And then I'll just fold it into like half. And I'll go, look, it's a book. Yeah. (laughs) It's a small (laughs) book. And when they got the art books, I go through. I'm like, all right, here's your art book. Where's the uh, where's the Tashin books, huh? The where's sexy. the Tashin ones? Where's the where's the Where do you naked keep the ladies? Tashin ones? I want to see the naughty boys. Then I start opening girl. drawers and looking for. It's like <laughs> where do you keep? Where are the Tashin books? Where's your Helmut Newton uh, <laughs> Tashin book? And then you know what I do? This is this is usually like the you know the the closing act or like the finale. I start taking the framed photos they have of their families Mm -hmm. and I just kiss them. I go (laughs) 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 I go, your wife's my wife now. (laughs) You're so pretty. pretty. Oh, you're so you're so pretty too. (laughs) I I have a different thing. I go, oh, this is a picture of you at the zoo. (laughs) It was a picture of them with their family. I go, oh, this is a picture. Somebody took a picture of you at the zoo. How'd you get this close to those three gorillas? And he's like, that's my wife and two children. This and then is I how go, you make that's a the splash. kind of comedy you're getting in the script. You're about exactly, to hire me to write. Exactly. And by now, they're 
they're shocked, but they're also intrigued. Yeah, they're like they're like the sack on this <laughs> one. They're like the sack on this one. Right? And then and then at that point the food usually comes. Food usually shows up and I take a bite of it and I go, "This is disgusting." <laughs> And then I write. And you try to feed it to the executives. Then I do a giant anarchy symbol. I smear the grilled cheese sandwich on the <laughs> gla- on the window. I do an anarchy symbol of smeared grilled cheese. People don't use cheese to draw enough. They don't. And then I do the anarchy symbol. I go, that's the kind of energy I'm bringing to the thing you're about to hire me to write. Anarchy. I will usually take the ketchup. Mm-hmm. I'll like I'll tear off the corner of the packet and then I'll start to write helter skelter on the wall, but I usually run out like Mm -hmm. before the age is even done. Sure. So then I go acid is groovy, kill the pigs. Right. Helter shelter. Yeah. Helter skelter. I love that they were like, I think there is an A in skelter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about that for twenty five minutes. Like, I write. I, know that it's I write like helter I, skelter. I know you guys are bad at spelling, but like, mm-hmm. really, like you're adding letters. Mm-hmm. Th- that's what I'd say if I were Vincent Bugliosi. Yeah. Welcome to Double Threat, where the references are so specific. Or, yeah. So old but that. Anyway, they they they're so old that they've they they're penicillin because they have mold on them. Yeah. The ideas are so old on double threat. The ideas are so old that they could be president. Anyway, at this point, you've either sold the show or they're calling security. Mm-hmm. But if they've called security, good news. Mm-hmm. You know what security is? Mm-hmm. Free scene partners. Yeah. Free scene partners. And then I go, as I run around the office, I <laughs> sing Pop Goes the Weasel as the security guard tries to catch me. And then I go, is this is one of those strippers. Fine. Take your clothes off. <laughs> oh, give us I all just, a thrill. When I figure out it's a stripper, I just go right for the belt buckle. I go, I'll give you a hand. Let's get this over yeah, with. Let's get this. Let's get the party started. Right. Because strippers like it when you help them. Yeah. I don't know if people yeah. know that. They like strippers like when you touch them and help them. Um, no, I, I, and by that point, usually the bottle of pills I've swallowed is kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm, the nice thing is, I usually they, black out at that yeah. point. I usually well, just everything starts spinning, and then I black out, and I wake <laughs> up in the parking lot of NBC. They never take you to the hospital. They'll always dump no, you in the parking they lot. They just dump you out in the parking lot. It's like King of Comedy, where it just like. Mm-hmm. Well, look, Mr. Pumpkin, we have certain rules here, and the way our organization works. They let Rupert Pumpkin get so far. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine? No, I just don't. Uh, They really, they were so polite to him. If anybody wants to know, that's how you pitch a show. Julie and Tom just Mm -hmm. told you how you pitch a show. But you also keep in mind. There are other things to do when the security guard is chasing you. Mm -hmm. Like you could run over to them and have them and be like, pick me up like in Dirty Dancing. Like they're running towards you. You run towards them. And you jump and and you go, (laughs) you you put your arms out like you're swimming. And then luckily they will grab you. If you're in the meeting and you feel it's at that point, you just go, wait, everybody, stop. Don't move. And everybody stops for a second. Then you go, (laughs) hand the time of my life and i never felt this way before and then i go catch me catch me and then you run at full speed towards someone run at full speed toward him but then i also superman arms yeah then i spin midair and throat (laughs) kick them throat kick them no 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 you run at them superman arms and if they don't Mm -hmm. catch you then you just push them over yeah just knock into them and then when you're both on the floor together and you're on top of them, you go, well, this is a sticky situation. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> then I start like my Groucho a, impression. We're in, like we're in a bit of a compromising yeah. position here. Because I just go into Groucho at that point, <laughs> and I'm just like, well, pardon me, but the whole thing you realize is I wouldn't want to sell a show to any network that would buy a show from me. <laughs> and then I just, and then at this point, <laughs> they probably have pushed me off of them. Yeah. Just start humping the floor or the air. And well, go, usually at that point, go, I'll start doing ooh, some. Uh, uh, ooh, uh, <laughs> you're just. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you're thrusting, you're doing these pelvic thrusts. You're going, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, and you go, I love television. 